got less than half a dollar in my pocket In a bottle of that ripple in my hand I'm just hustling out here trying to make a profit On these streets someday I know I'll be the man But oh, money, 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 money You know what I need I'm a big bad money machine Still keep on running, 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 running Hey guys, so we're currently in Tokyo, just landed last night, haven't really had a chance to look around yet, but so far I'm really enjoying it. Today we're heading to a place called Shibuya, which is home to world famous Shibuya Crossing. So we're going to head there and just, we'll just have a look around and be tourists, so we're going to take you guys along with us. We just stumbled across this store. At first you think it's a jewelry store, which it actually is. But then you come to the back and this is what you see. Sneaker heaven, look at that. Jordan Breads, Supremes, Yeezys. This would be great for me and Nikki. Nikki could just be looking at all the jewelry and I could be in the back not complaining, actually looking at cool stuff. Something I've figured out about Japan so far is they have all these second-hand stores that stock all this insanely cool stuff. Like, look at this place. They sell Yeezys, Supreme, all this crazy stuff that you're not able to get anywhere else aside from the internet. Supreme. Yo. So is, is, is this stuff used or is this... Uh, some of it's brand new, some of it okay, is... Okay, so most of it's dead stock. Yeah, most of it is dead stock. It's just resale. This oh, these are dope. These are one of my all-time favorite Jordans. I've never seen these in person. Supreme Air Jordan 5 collab. These are so sick. You got the shattered backboards. These are obviously worn, you can tell. But, oh my God, I love these. I'm literally in shoe heaven right now. What are they? The all black Ultra Boost? Now these are the Haven Ultra Boosts. They're so nice. Oh, they're crazy. I know, uncaged is so beautiful. They're the back. This place is literally sneaker heaven. You would never find this sort of stuff in stores in Australia. No way. I just found this sweater. It's actually used, but it looks brand new. And it's quarter of the price that you would pay for it brand new in Australia. So I think I'm actually going to grab this. This is really cool. I'll return no change, okay? All good. Thank you very much. You have an awesome store. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. We're just walking down the street and look what we spotted. A cat cafe. Are we going to do it? We have to do it now. We have to do it. Let's go. Let's roll. We've got to take off our shoes and then we put these slippers on. <laughs> so you put your hand over the sensor. Alright, it just sprays out and then you do that. Wow, that's cool. Please check it every 10 minutes, 200 yen. Pay after and cash only. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Cat's rule. Please do not chase them. Please do not carry them in your arms. Please do not give them customer food and drink. <laughs> Can you pat them? Yes, okay. Okay. No hug. Okay. Please. But I want to hug them. Yes. Please no hug, do how? Please do not use a flash when you take a photo. Okay. okay. Please do not talk too loud. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, do you want a drink? Um, um I'm okay. Yeah, no. I think okay. I just play with cats. Okay. Please wait. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to go into the cat okay. cafe. Is this real? We're not allowed to hug them apparently, but we can pat them. Please wait. Oh, we, <laughs> and we have to wear this as well. Dude, that cat is amazing. It's a Burmese. Hi.
technically a cat cafe, but I haven't actually seen a single person eat a drink in here. I'd love to bring Nikki here. Maybe she'll start to like cats because she doesn't really like them. We just came into a $2 shop because I'm trying to find a screwdriver because the microphone on my camera is about to fall off. Um, I'm actually vlogging on the Canon 5D today, which is a camera I don't normally use. The autofocus isn't working that well, which is really, really frustrating. The reason I decided to bring this camera instead of the Sony is because the colors on the Canon at night just look really, really amazing in comparison to the Sony. And I was hoping to get some cool nighttime footage. There we go, we have a screwdriver and I can actually use it without having to buy it, which is a plus. I'm currently in the middle of Shibuya Crossing, which is the biggest crossing in Tokyo and this place is crazy. There's so many people. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but it is ridiculously busy and I feel like it's the one place in the world where I don't feel like a bit of a weirdo walking around talking to a camera because everybody here is walking around taking selfies. So I actually feel like I fit in for once. This is really weird. The hotel behind me, you can rent rooms for 90 minutes or 120 minutes. Man, people here really mustn't sleep for long. got back to the house. I'll give you guys a quick tour. The place is pretty messy already. Johnson's sleeping down here on the fold out couch. We've got this little kitchen here. Pretty boy over here is doing his hair. The tub is quite interesting. It's literally a, a, a tub. It's not a bath. It's a tub. You squat inside of it and have a bath. Then we got upstairs, which is where my room is. How got this room in here? It has two beds. The annoying thing is they're not really actual mattresses. They got this really annoying split in the middle. So I feel kind of sorry for him. I got lucky and got a real mattress. This is my bed in here. And then you've got this. This room's really creepy. None of us want to sleep up here. I don't know, it just gives me like horror movie vibes when I go up here. It's really creepy when you come up here, it's completely dark. So yeah, this is the little dungeon room. The ceiling is super low and it just, yeah, it gives all of us the heebie-jeebies. I feel like the chick from the ring could live up here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get down, down stairs before she hears me. Seriously, gives me the willies being up here alone. All right. I'm good, I'm good. Back on the train again. Now we're heading to a place called Shinjuku and we're gonna go to a robot cafe. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's a robot cafe. It's, it's kind of cool. This is how I picture Japan. Like, in the day it's cool, but you come out at night and then all of a sudden you're like, it's yeah, this is, this is what I pictured. This is how I imagined it would be. I was just taking me to this Japanese place and I'm always a little bit cautious with foreign food. I've got a little bit of a weak stomach. Um, so he's he's been my food tour guy. And we've got this stuff, it's called yakisoba. 
think yakisoba. That doesn't sound right. I probably just pr did I just butcher the pronunciation. What? How do I say it? Oh, how do you speak? How do I say? Uh, how do I say the name of dish? Yakisoba. 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 Okay. Yakisoba. Okay. I I got it. So I'm about to taste it for the first time. Let's. Also, you guys are probably wondering why we're not eating at the robot restaurant. Apparently, the food at the robot restaurant is terrible, but it's still worth going to. I don't know what's inside the robot restaurant. How won't tell me what's inside the robot restaurant, but apparently the food sucks. So, let's try this. Wow, this is, this is actually... This is ridiculous. Hey, babe. Excellent. Okay, okay. I literally have no idea what I'm about to see. Yeah, we're all right here. This, this is what we're dealing with. You're gonna be so entertained. You're gonna be so entertained, bro. I like. I literally don't know what's going on. That was the most random show I've ever seen. It literally started out as a musical, then it became like an episode of the Power Rangers, and then it became a musical again. And I couldn't figure out what was going on the entire time. Well, that's it for today's vlog, guys. I just wanted to take a moment and just send my, my condolences to everybody in the UK at the moment and let you guys know that you're in our thoughts and prayers. I woke up this morning and I read about the terrorist attack at the Ariana Grande concert and this one really hit home for me because I've worked in the music industry and the concert industry for a really, really long time. It's just shocking to think that there's people this evil in the world. There was little kids at that concert and they just indiscriminately and took those innocent people's lives just like that it's just it's horrible I wish there was more that I can do but I just I just want to let you guys know if you're affected by it that you're in my thoughts and prayers and I also wanted to dedicate this vlog to my friend Solo I've spoken about him in the past on our vlog he was so positive about his recovery um, but sadly, I, I found out that he passed away on Friday. Um, I found out the day that I landed in Japan. And so I just wanted to dedicate this vlog to Solo and just to his positivity. The, the way that he was put in such a hard situation, a situation I could never imagine being put in. And if I was put in that situation, I don't think I could be positive like him. And, he is now a role model for me in the way that I live my life with the way that he was just so positive about everything until the end and yeah we need more solos in the world sorry to leave vlog on a sad note but I just wanted to acknowledge all of that we'll see you in the next vlog which will be a vlog with Nikki and Ava bye guys